Today we talk about Aaron Judge, his hitting mechanics, and what makes him special as an offensive player. Hey, what's going on, fellas? How we doing? Man, it's Nelly here. Today we're looking at Aaron Judge. Um, we're going to take a look at his hitting mechanics and what makes him special as an offensive player. He's, um, you know, he's getting a lot of attention this year for his just ridiculous power. Um, very similar to uh, to Stanton. Um, they're actually similar, similar in size. Judge is, is, is bigger, I think. Um, I just saw something today that said that Judge was... 6'7", 280 pounds. I don't know if that's correct, but if it is, um, he is a very large human. So, um, you know, he's got light tower power, maybe the best power in the league, at least right up there with Stanton. Um, obviously, the size and strength and athleticism of him for being such a big guy has a ton to do with it. Um, but also, it has to do with the way he swings the bat. You know, there's a lot of big people in the world, and, and not everyone really not any of them have uh, the type of power um, and ability that, that Aaron Judge has. So let's take a few minutes here, kind of break down his swing. Um, I'll kind of show you a couple of things that, that I think are important to look at when you're, when, you're, um, when you're breaking down his swing mechanics. And then you guys can let me know in the comment section below some things that you see um, you know, if you have any questions, let me know, and, and uh, we can get into a discussion. I've been asked by a lot of people to break down um, judges' mechanics, so uh, let's get right into it. First thing um, that really stands out to me, and we'll kind of look at these two views here, one from the front and one from the side. Um, you're going to see, and, and a lot of these things, again, we're going to talk about, we've talked about in the past, um, so go back and definitely check out our other videos. Uh, but these are kind of the core principles that I'm always looking at with most players, uh, with all players, and and typically elite hitters, guys that have this type of power, um, are going to demonstrate these these principles. So the first one is is the tension created within the body, um, you know, the ability to store energy so that you can release energy. If you want to be able to hit the ball a long way, you've got to be able to store up energy so you can release in your swing. Um, and you'll see this right here as as Judge is starting to move forward, right? So he, he starts to make his move forward. I'll show it on this, this side here. It's a little bit easier to see this this forward move into the ball, right? So he gets into he gets around his back leg, into his back hip, oops, into this back hip. And then again, if we put a if we put a line right here, you're gonna see that he moves away from that line. So he's going to make a forward move. And while he's making that move, he's setting his upper body in the other in the opposite direction. So he's pulling back with his upper body as he moves forward with his lower body. Right there. So there's the opposite movement of the lower body and upper body. The upper body is kind of loading as the lower body is moving forward and then unloading right so it's a pullback with the upper body you're going to see if you watch and if you just kind of stare at his back hair he's going to use his back you're going to see his right arm come into the picture here and it's a similar motion of it's similar to a row i'm starting a lawnmower i'm pulling back a, a bow right I'm using my back, I'm using my scap to create resistance in my upper body against the forward move of my lower body. And eventually the turning of my of my leg. So as this front foot starts to come down into the ground, you're gonna see the hips start to open. So right there you can see right here the hips are opening. And you're going to see that the shoulder is still in the same spot. So he's pulling back. He's resisting with his upper body, resisting with the upper body as the lower body moves forward and then starts to rotate. So you, you create this huge amount of stretch across the body. If you watch his jersey, again, just watch his jersey right here. 
you're going to see the jersey get really tight right there, right? So here it is. It's the jersey laying flat. As he moves forward and pulls back, you see this huge amount of stretch. You see how tight the jersey gets right here? That's the tension created within the body. I'm resisting with my upper body. My lower body is turning. There's a, a, a fight going on here between the upper and lower body. This is tugging this way. This is tugging this way. And eventually, that thing is going to snap boom, and fire the barrel through the zone. So if you think about it, it's like an elastic, right? I put it around my thumb. I want to store energy. I want to shoot that elastic far. I, I pull back, 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 and then eventually, boom, I let the thing go, and I can shoot the elastic, right? If I don't pull back, then there's no energy stored in the elastic. There's no tension, and I can't shoot it very far. So this is a huge, huge move in hitting. Um, to create this ability to store energy, create tension, have the upper and lower body fighting against one another. I'm pulling back as I'm moving forward and opening my hips. And again, here's a great shot right here. Look at how far the hips are opening. The shoulder is still closed, right? So that's that, that tug of war. That's that fight going on within the body. And a lot of young players don't have it because most coaches teach to not get the hands back, to not pull back because they don't want an arm bar. They don't want this length in the lead arm when you need that to create this type of power. Now, obviously, no, not many of us are going to ever have anywhere close to as much power as Aaron Judge. But to be able to create power, right, to be able to create bat speed, yeah, you don't have to be able to hit it as far as him. But the more energy you can store, you know, the more power you'll have, depending on your size and strength and all that stuff. So such an important move in the swing. Um, cannot be, cannot be overlooked. Again, here's a here's a cool view of the of the shirt, seeing that tension created. You can see it right there. How the jersey's laying flat, and then tension, 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 tension. Boom, and then everything is finally whipped through. So, you know, that's what, that's probably the biggest thing at first when I watch judges swing that stands out to me. You know, big, huge man, yes, but knows how to work his body, knows how to create the energy, knows how to, I should say, store the energy so he can create it. Now, the next thing that you know, I think is, is hugely important. And we've talked about this just recently in the past. We talked about it with Chris Bryan swing and with Mike Trout swing. But the ability to once once I'm able to get that pullback and get the separation created in the swing between the lower body and the upper body, it's now I launch the bat. When it's time to go, I launch back instead of forward, right? I launch back instead of forward. So I'm not pushing, I'm not pushing the bat. What a lot of hitters do, a lot of young hitters, amateur hitters, is that they try to push the bat, right? You need to launch the bat back, okay? So we talked about this in our last video. You've created all of this You've stored all this energy. You have this fight going on here where the lower body, you know, the back leg's turning and the, and the lower body's turning and I'm resisting and I'm fighting and I'm fighting and I'm fighting and then I finally release. I don't want to push the bat. I want to, what you're going to see from most hitters is they're going to t literally tilt back. So their upper body is going to tilt back it creates even more stretch within the body. And it's that last bit of tension that is created and then released. The other thing it's going to do is it's going to allow you to get the bat on plane with the pitch. So if I want to get this bat working slightly up through the zone, right? And again, I want to get it working slightly up through the zone so I can get on path early. I can be in the hitting zone for a long time. I've got a big area 
to hit with. I don't have my timing doesn't have to be as perfect. But also, if I want to create a launch angle to get the ball in the air, and again, when I say in the air, I don't mean high fly balls. I mean line drives and balls that carry for doubles. And as you get big and strong like this, they turn into home runs. If I want to be able to get the ball in the air, um, I need to have a swing that is slightly up through the zone. If I have a swing that's down through the zone, I'm going to hit a whole lot of ground balls. Okay? So I need to get that bat working rearward, and I need to get my lower body back so that my 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 rear shoulder, my right shoulder for righty and left shoulder for lefty ends up getting underneath the lead shoulder so that I can get the bat working up. If you do the opposite, if you try to keep your, your back shoulder up the whole time, you will push the bat downhill. Just grab a bat and try it. Okay? So you have to turn, you know, we talked to our guys about turning the barrel. Right? I turn the barrel. And for hitters that have a hard time doing it, we have a lot of hitters that want to feel, you know, they've always been told stay on top of the ball, stay tall with your backside, and they all push the bat downhill. They're really steep and they don't they're not able to create a lot of bat speed. I literally try to get them to feel like they are getting themselves under the ball. Right? And that's what Judge does so well here. Right? So he's he's over the plate. Right? So again, he launches the bat back. His right shoulder or rear shoulder gets under. And he's in a really, really strong position to drive the ball up in the air. Okay? Guys that are able to do this really well, let me move this over a little bit. You know, players that do everything we've talked about so far well and get into position to launch the bat and go rearward. Whoops. And they launch the bat back. Look at how well they stay behind the ball, right? So this is another way. He's able to get the ball in the air. Because look at his body. Right? You have to create angles with your body to be able to get the bat to work the way you want it to. So players that, you know, if I draw a line right down the center of them, that's not the best line in the world. Let me try that again. It's better. Players that get forward of that line with their upper body, they swing down. Players that stay behind this line are naturally creating angles in their body to be able to get the bat to work up. Okay? So if you have trouble, if you if you can't get the bat to work up and you're always working down, look at your angles. If you're forward, it's going to be down. It's impossible to be forward and swing up properly. It just won't happen. Right? So he's... He's behind, you know, some people call it saying behind the ball. You know, you can say whatever you want. But he's slightly behind center when he lands with his upper body. And now as he turns, you know, if you circle his head and turn, he stays right in that circle, you know. He's getting into the ground here. So you can see him getting a little bit lower. And he stays over the plate. And if you look at this angle right here, right, he's over the plate. So he's getting into the ground, over the plate, boom. His head is not moving forward. So, you know, this is another, people talk about this all the time, with the head and, and having little head movement. The head can move. You know, if I circle the head right here when he picks his foot up, that's a bad circle again. Got to work on my arch skills here. Your head can move forward with your body during the stride, during the forward move. But once that foot gets into the ground and you start to rotate, the head should not move. I should stay behind the ball. And I should just turn. You can see the bat working slightly uphill. So you get a big, strong, athletic guy, you learn how to store energy properly, and then you launch the bat the right way, use your body to create angles to get the bat to work slightly up through the hitting zone, 
And all of that is a recipe to hit the ball a really, really long way. There it is again. This is a really cool view of seeing the bat work slightly up, right? You know, his lead arm working up, not working down, right? Push hitters, hitters that hit the ball, smother the ball on the ground, everything works down. Big league hitters that are able to drive the ball as he turns, that lead arm is working up. Everything is working up. Another good view here. Lead arm working up. Allows the bat to work up. So those are some of the really big things that I see with, with Aaron Judge. Obviously, you could break this down and go into the minute details of the swing, and it would take, you know, a couple hours. Um, but if you're looking for just some of the, the key principles, some of the things that, you know, are really creating a, a strong engine to be able to generate a whole lot of bat speed um, and also create a path through the zone that's going to um, you know, create bat speed, but also the ability to have the type of launch angles that you want to be able to drive the ball, hit doubles, hit home runs, slug the ball. Um, you know, he does a great job of all that. So uh, it'd be really interesting, interesting to see as he, as he progresses um, in his career, um, as hitters start, or excuse me, pitchers start to adjust to him a little bit to see if he's able to continue this, this success. Um, you know, I think that, you know, I, I don't think the power is going away. Obviously, he's such a big guy, and, and he clearly knows how to use his body well. So um, we'll see how the consistency is able to be consistent, um, you know, throughout the year and, and throughout his career. Um, again, let me know if you have any questions. Put them in the comment section below. If you have any points that you want to make um, on his swing, go ahead and throw that down there, too. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Um, give it a thumbs up. Share with all your friends. Also, check out our Instagram page, Antonelli Baseball, where we're posting uh, videos all the time. Also, my Twitter feed, Matt Antonelli 9, where I do the same thing. You can also check out the description box below, um, where I've put a bunch of links to some training tools that we use with our players and used over the years, and also some books that, um, that I own and I found really useful. I think you guys will like. Check those out um, down below. If you want to do any work, you want to um, talk hitting or um, if you'd like to sign up for any lessons check out our website antonellybaseball.com and you can shoot me an email at matt at antonellybaseball.com um, I'm always available to uh, work with you guys and, uh, and talk hitting so again thank you very much good luck and we will talk to you later